Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. I'm here again with another video and in today's video we're going to discuss about cost of living in UK. Specifically, I'll be talking about expenses in Dundee. So let's see. The first thing that we're going to discuss about is rent. Uh, so if you are uh, an individual, a student will be sharing room with others. So this sharing cost can land up between um, 350 pounds to uh, 450 pounds. Again, this depends on uh, place where you're taking your uh, uh, accommodation, um, vicinity to university. So this 350 to 450 is is actually in vicinity to the university wherein you can walk down to the university 5, 10 or 15 minutes walk. Um, in some of the cases, you do get bills included. If you're not getting bills included, uh, then you have to pay for electricity and gas charges as well. Um, we'll discuss about those charges. Before that, let's talk about a 2BHK. So if you're renting a house as a family, uh, then a 2BHK uh, will cost you around uh, 550 to 700 it's a very broad range but this is what i am seeing right now um when i came in um, the rents were very high recently i've seen uh, people uh, getting uh, the the house in the same vicinity in a lower rent uh, so um it depends where you land in but if you're planning to stay somewhere around the vicinity of university uh, be prepared to shell out somewhere around 550 to 700 uh, for a 2 bhk and bills are not included in this so as a family when you take a house if you take a full house usually the bills are not included so it's additional that you have to pay so now talk, let's talk about the bills. Uh, the first thing is electricity. If you're staying in a house uh, where uh, your heating is gas, so I would recommend uh, that you prefer a house with a gas heating because if you go for a house with electric heating, your bills will be very high because electricity cost is higher than gas. and. Uh, after September, it's going to be cold and you're going to need your heating. Again, in case of electricity bill also, it depends on the way you use it as an individual. If you are, um, uh, so I've seen people who rather would wear a lot of layers in the house rather than uh, putting on heating all the time. There are people who don't like to wear a lot of layers in the house and they keep their heating on all the time. So obviously your bills will vary as per your usage, but if you are using it, um, uh, so uh, if I would say um, it would, la you land up paying somewhere around 40 to 60 pound for your electricity for a fair usage. So if you're using it fairly, You'll land up paying somewhere around 40 to 60. It may go higher in a peak cold season because you'll be using a lot of heating at that time. Uh, but uh, it'll be somewhere around 40 to 60. Uh, in case of, so 40 to 60 is your share as a sharing partner in, in, a, in, a, in a house. Obviously, it will be higher than that. You have to pay somewhere around 40 to 60. Mm -hmm. As, uh, as, as far as gas goes, it'll be somewhere around 20 to 40 uh, pounds. Again, depends upon your usage. I'm telling this per month. So 40 to 60 per month, 20 to 40 per month for gas. Again, this may vary a lot as per your usage, uh, but usually a fair usage would land you between 20 to 40. 20 uh, when you're not uh, using a lot of heating and in, if you're if you have got a gas heating and you're using a lot of heating then they you might land a 40 or even more in such cases as far as family goes um, uh, I would say it will be around 120 to 130 pounds um, 
per month including electricity and gas again it depends upon your usage uh, but this is an average bill that you get uh, the bills it, it it is hard to calculate bill these days because um, uh, it's been rapidly increasing but uh, to give you a fair idea as a family if you're living in 2 bhk you should expect somewhere around 120 to 130 pounds if you are using it too stingingly like not using heating a lot you might be able to um, bring it down to uh, 20 or 30 pounds further after electricity and gas another utility bill that you get is your internet um, if you so uh, i'll tell you about uh, decent speed because a lot of times you have to work uh, you have to access your university library from house uh, so you do need a decent speed a lot of us have uh, uh, virgin here virgin media again i'm not promoting virgin but then i'm just telling you from my personal experience and uh, virgin media costs somewhere around 26 pounds a month um, you do have other plans also uh, there are providers like 3, BT, BT is also a very good service provider but then you have to check what is the maximum speed any service provider is able to give for your particular area and then decide. So uh, take it as somewhere between 20 to 26 pounds if you want a decent speed. I pay personally 26 pounds a month so that'll be your wi-fi internet charges next will be your council tax if you're staying in all student accommodation you don't need to worry about it but as i told in one of my videos that you should apply for council tax redemption uh, you go and look at that video you'll see all the details there so apply for redemption but you don't have to pay anything if you're living in all student accommodation if you're living with an adult even if it's not your relative even if you're not related you just are sharing a room and if you're staying with an adult um, who is working then you certainly have to pay council tax uh, you will get a rebate of 25 percent you have to pay remaining 75 percent of tax so that will be another thing. Um, so in my case, uh, we pay around 80 pounds a month uh, for council tax. Uh, this usually depends on council band. So all, all the houses are, as per the areas, the houses are divided into bands. So it's band A, B, C, D and your council tax come as per the band of that area. So how do you know the band whenever you are looking for a house on Zoopla, on websites, other housing websites, council tax band is mentioned there. So you don't have to do anything about that, that, that automatically gets calculated. Um, but what council tax you'll have to pay depends upon number of adults in your house and also depends upon the council tax band you are falling into. So that's another utility bill that you need to pay. Uh, but if you're all students, again, there is zero tax. So you don't have to pay anything in that case. There's another thing that is there in utility bills. If you plan to take a TV license, um, that if, uh, if it is all, all bills included, then you don't have to take it. If you plan to take a TV license, that will be an extra after rent and utility bill let's look at transport in case of transport again if you are under 21 years of age and student don't have to pay anything you do have to apply for your nec card but you don't have to pay anything for the transport once the card is with you um, otherwise all the students who are able to prove their uh, uh, matriculation matriculation is once you get enrolled uh, with the university you tell university we are here and you give them your address and all so once that process is finished you're called matriculated so once you're matriculated uh, you can apply for student discounts even in transport so um, there are two two transport services here one is uh, explore dundee one is stagecoach and apart from buses there are railway 
as well. So in buses, if I talk of Explore Dundee, one day pass as a student would cost you around three point uh, sixty pounds, three pounds sixty pence, and you can travel as many times as you want to in that particular day. So it's not just go and return pass. You can travel across Dundee as many times as you want to hop in and hop off the bus in 3.60 pounds uh, similarly there's a weekly pass for students which is around uh, 10 10 pounds 40 pence and um, again in that week you can uh, take as many rides as you want to to and fro on the bus so uh, that's beneficial so if you uh, are dependent upon a bus uh, 10 pounds uh, 40 pence is what you're going to spend as a student uh, on one in one week on a monthly uh, on a travel uh, to and fro um, as an adult if you do not fall in a student category the same pass is around 14 pounds a week so if in case there's someone who's coming with you, if you have a spouse or a dependent, so in that case, you'll have to spend around 14 pounds for that um, adult for travel to and fro. So you can calculate around 40, 40 plus pounds a week for a transport, but then you can take daily passes as well, whatever suits you as per your need of transport. If you're planning to uh, take a gym or a fitness club membership. Uh, this is gonna cost you around 20 to uh, uh, 30 pounds uh, for a month. Um, they, these can be uh, even uh, memberships of university. Universities also got its own uh, gym. Uh, there, is, uh, there are other gyms across. There's Leisure and Dundee. Um, they have their own gyms and swimming pools. I'm going to talk about this on a later stage, but you can take a membership from there as well. So uh, for all these recreational or exercise or a gymming thing, uh, if you are into all this, expect to spend around 20 to 30 pounds a month. Now food varies a lot. Um, and we're going to talk about food. Um, I've taken you to places like Asta and uh, Indian shop as well. Um, now, uh, it's very difficult to tell about the food uh, budget because it, 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 is, it is totally depend dependent upon an individual, but I'll still try. Um, so as an individual, you if you are a vegetarian and, and you cook a mix of pulses and veggies, then you can expect to spend somewhere around 60 to 70 pounds a month. As a family, uh, this might go up to 40 to 80 pounds a week. Again, it depends upon how smartly you're shopping. What are you shopping for? Um, if you're going for more ready-mades, if you're going for more uh, fresh fruits, um, uh, the budgets would change accordingly um, so 40 is eight, 40 and 80 is what 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 broadly an average range is you might go a little up you might go a little down depending upon your uh, eating habits so um, as an individual 70 around 70 you can take it for your monthly uh, expense as a food uh, expense and um, as a family um, minimum Minimum to minimum, if, you, if, you're, if you're too careful and you're too careful about your uh, foods and you're picking up a lot of um, ready meals um, uh, and from the right place, then you might be able to manage in around 50. Uh, but it is usually 80 or, or more uh, per week in case of family. Now that was the food that you take home. Um, you will see some uh, prices on the screen. Um, these are the usual prices of our daily essentials. Uh, so this might give you some idea. Uh, if you eat out, this, this does not include eating out. So if you're eating out, if you're eating out an Indian meal, going in an Indian restaurant, dining in, um, or dining in at any other restaurant, expect to spend somewhere around 15 to 20 pounds per person. 
um, and again if you are going in a buffet time or you are taking just just uh, say you walk into one of the restaurants here Rishi so there is a dosa for 9 pounds so then you will be able to somehow manage within 10 pounds um, but in usual cases it is 15 to 20 pounds if you are dining in uh, takeouts are usually uh, cheaper than dining in so takeouts will cost you even if you are going for a meal in McDonald's um, expect to shell out somewhere around six to seven pounds on a takeout as well so if you do it once in a week as well so it's like uh, somewhere around seven pounds for eating out uh, takeout and uh, somewhere around 15 to 20 pence for dining in. Apart from what all I have told you there are some websites as well wherein you can go and uh, put in um, your city and the cost of living pops up. They are more or less uh, reasonably close to the city's uh, cost of living. I have tried them before I have came here I'm going to put that link in the description box as well you can go and check there so that'll give you a little bit of flexibility uh, basis what you actually eat or what where you actually spend you'll get to know you'll have more idea as to what can be your cost of living while you're living here um, anything that I have not covered anything in specific to you if you want to know um, please do put it in comment box I'll surely get back to you and uh, take care do remember to subscribe like and press the bell icon and I'll see you soon in my next video